perfect, guaranteed. Oh heck, I've cut it twice and it's still too short. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Bates and I'm an amateur woodworker from South Elgin, Illinois. I love the hobby. I've been doing it since I was probably eight or ten years old. I'm not terrific at it, but over the years I've gained some practice and some skills, and I've made some pretty cool projects. And I wanted to take you on a tour of uh, just a few of them. So grab my pencil. Come on along. Hey everybody, welcome to what my wife likes to call the house that Chris built. Although I didn't build the house, I'm not that good, but I built a lot of the stuff in it. Uh, and the first thing I built is, is hardly a piece of furniture. I'm not sure what it is. We call it the pergola. And it's an indoor plant structure because my wife is a, is a horticulturist and plant enthusiast and wanted a place for her house plants. The base area is basically like a window seat. In fact, the next homeowner could easily put cushions on it. But over the top is a pergola structure with uh, PVC columns that I painted, track lighting inside for some mood lighting, and my wife can hang all of her uh, house plants in there. Howdy, partners. I gotta oil that squeak. Wanted to show you a few things in the other end of the living dining area. We've got squeaky doors. We've got crown molding. Nice little ceiling medallion. I had to center the light over the table. It used to be right over here. That was rather tricky to do to get a nice drywall finish. Uh, and a nice corner cabinet that my wife ordered up for me. First time I tried anything like this. Tricky curve to the, uh, to the raised panel glass doors there. But down below, you see some, some nice details on the corner, some, some fluting here. Did the uh, raised panel doors myself. But the, uh, the big item in here, and my most recent one, is the dining room table, which uh, I built to be kind of a French harvest country style. So I used rough sawn 2 by 8s that I picked up at your you know, local lumber yard. But I did some hand planing details. The, uh, the legs, all right, confession time, guys. I could have turned them, but it's too easy to buy them. So those are store bought but I did do the apron. Uh, but take a look at the detail on the top there where I actually did some hand planing to create that kind of crisscross pattern. And, secret time guys, this is the finishing material of choice here around the Beatty's house. General finishes, armor seal, wipes on, wipes off, absolutely foolproof. And trust me guys, I know all about foolproof. Wife caught me there. Hey guys, check out these speakers, huh? Polk Audio Classics, but they're big. So what do you do when you have speakers like that and you can't really put them in a wall unit? Well, you build a wall to make the speakers look great. So that's what we decided to do in here. I did a cherry raised panel wall. It's all cherry plywood plus cherry hardwood molding. And it actually matches our kitchen cabinets, which are on the other side of the house. And then to tie everything together, stereo and television cabinet that I built right here. All my components in the center, I actually blacked out the center with paint. And then on the sides, drawers for CDs at the top, and I actually have records, yes, albums, down there at the bottom. All right, guys, you know how sometimes your wife says, ooh, I wish I had such and such? Well, my wife does that about twice a week, and one of the things she did it with was these flat topiaries that you're looking at up here. She saw them in a catalog. They were made out of sheet metal and they cost something like 159 bucks a piece. And of course I drew the line at that, but then I looked at them and said, wait a minute, I bet I can make those out of quarter inch plywood. So I uh, drew out a template and I got my trusty roto zip and made some little plywood uh, templates and that's how I cut out the leaves. Well, you may have noticed the uh, flowering garden theme going on in our house, and that's because, as I said, my wife is a horticulturist, and I'm actually a greenhouse trade magazine editor. And in that position, I get to travel the world and go to really cool trade shows, and I bring back a lot of posters that we've used to decorate our house. The trick is, they come in weird sizes, so I've actually gotten pretty good at making my own picture frames to fit the weird size pictures. Uh, but in some cases, I can go to a a uh, frame store like Hobby Lobby and actually buy a frame that's oversized, cut it down to size on my chop saw, and make it work. Well, I am beautifully color coordinated for our pansy guest room as we continue the flower theme. And uh, with a the garden flower theme, I wanted to go with a uh, sort of a picket fence headboard. Super easy construction, four by fours and some white pickets. 
And I've got to show off this project because this is one of my first ever woodworking projects. This is a Norm Abrams design shaker bedside table. And then on the other side of the bed, another wife project where she says, oh honey, look, can you make this? Out of a catalog. And so I found a way to make it. Now, let's check out the whole office. Dear Family Handyman Magazine, I deserve to win the video contest because, oh, hey guys, let me show you my home office. This is for my wife's plant book coll collection, pretty extensive, but it's fairly simple construction. Just uh, plywood uprights, and I set uh, shelf brackets into dados in the sides. Uh, probably the trickiest part of all was the raised panels. There's 10 of them across the front, so I had to be pretty precise on the, the sizing, but they look good and they need some oil. Uh, plywood desktop here, very simple. Used the file cabinet for the leg, but I dressed it up with yet another raised panel right here. Uh, yeah, did I say anything about the plant collection that my wife has accumulated? Uh, probably 150, 160 out here on the patio, so we had to create an area to, uh, to display them and protect them, and so we designed this uh, pergola all out of uh, pressure-treated uh, lumber and it makes a great place to hang out, especially if you've got some Norm Abrams designed Adirondack chairs. And I've probably built 20 of them over the years and there's probably no place better to sit and enjoy a cool beer. Continuing the outdoor theme, showing that I'm not limited to furniture building, is our garden shed. And shed is spelled S-H-E-D-D-E. -D -D -E. Kind of cool architecture. Vintage light that I took off of an old building little window box for some decoration, but check out what's out behind it. Out behind the shed, we've created this way cool secret destination that we call the dock, because it's actually constructed kind of like an old Mississippi swamp dock, and it's done from boards that one of my neighbors was throwing away from his old deck. He thought they were no good. And it's a great place to keep my barbecue grills, hang out with friends, drink a little bit, and shoot the breeze. Ah. Finally, a project I can call my own, out in the garage mahal, my workbench. And not just any ordinary workbench. You might notice that it looks a bit like a Craftsman toolbox, right down to the Craftsman logo, and that's because I matched it to my Craftsman Stacko tools. Pretty simple construction, uh, but what I did was I color matched the gray and the red to the toolbox, and then to mimic the aluminum pulls, I just used some aluminum angle iron. Right there, so plenty of storage and it works great and it looks really cool too. Well, that's a quick tour of Chris Beatty's house and projects. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to get out and do a little bit of woodworking yourself because trust me, if a magazine editor, not you guys at uh, Family Handyman, but if a regular magazine editor can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching. How do you get partners? We're in the uh, living room. No,